In this video I'm going to show you guys how to play audio clips when you select your units. So a really common thing to do in strategy games when you select your unit by clicking or dragging them a audio clip is um, played and every unit has a unique audio clip associated with it. Ok so I've downloaded some sounds. I've got a robots ready clip. I'm going to play that for you now. Ready. So a robot is saying ready and I've got a shine. So I want to put this shine clip on my solar panels because the light reflects off the panels, they look really shiny so I thought a shine clip would be really cool but it needs some work done so I'll show you guys what it does so the clip itself is really slow, we could speed this up and there's loads of um, empty space at the bottom and also empty space at the end as well so we could optimize this I'll show you guys how to do that in this video as well for free Okay. so I got these audio clips from a website called freesounds.org I think this website hosts a really good library of sounds and uh, if you guys like creating sounds by yourself using your own hardware this website can give you a lot of uh, inspiration there's some pretty funny stuff like this robot laughing <laughs> yeah it's quite funny but um, this is where I got the sounds from okay so what we need to do here when we first import the sounds they're 3D sounds in Unity so we need to change this to a 2D sound untick 3D sound for each of the objects. Why is this? Because we're going to play all the sounds from the mouse script which is attached to the world object and 3D sounds play relative to that object in 3D space in this case that object is a vector 30 in world space so the further away we go we go from that unit the quieter the sound will be and by the time you've got to the solar panels the sound will be zero we're about to hear the sound so by changing the sound to a 2D we can hear it no matter where we are in the, sound, in the scene OK guys, so important things to remember. Um, so let's get to editing the audio. So I use a program called Audacity and I'm just going to go back a few times because I was playing around with that. So here, here was my shine and um, if you use this for the first time guys remember to change your output because if you're editing sound the chances are you're using your earphones or your headset not the built-in output of your machine. And if it's set to the default built-in output and I play we can't hear anything so we need to change manually change the output to our headset or whatever and boom it will change so really easy to use audacity quite a simple bit of software we can backspace to get rid of these um, empty space in the sound effect and I think the sound effect itself is way too long so we can double click to select it we can go to effects and I want to change the speed so I want to change the speed to let's say 130 percent okay so the clip will get a lot shorter a lot quicker and I'm just going to test this out that's a lot better I don't think it will be so annoying for the user to keep selecting the solar farm so we've edited the clip file export and I'm going to put it back in my project with a WAV file save it out and we can also configure the name and the track and things like that you see in iTunes but I'm not going to do that and back in Unity it should be imported that's our new one and our old sound effect which I'm going to delete as we don't need it and as you can see the 3D sound is turned off which is what we want OK guys, so as I said we're going to play the units from the world object so we need an audio source component so every time you play audio that game object needs an audio source component component, audio, audio source from here we can change the volume, the pitch and everything in between but I want to turn off play on awake so we don't want to play anything on awake and there will be nothing to play instead of inserting the audio clips directly into here we're going to get them from each of the units we're selecting ok guys so because we're using an audio source component we need to tell this C sharp script we do require one so right at the top we can say require component and then type of audio source just to tell Unity that we do require an audio source component for this to work Unity script in reference recommends this and we need to do it. So if I hop over to my unit script, right at the top we can declare a new variable public audio clip and we can call this one selected audio and if we jump back into Unity really quick we can go ahead and wait for it to update and I want to drag my um, solar farm. So I want to drag the shine audio clip into the solar farm 
and I want to drag the robots ready clip into the robot. Simple as that. So back to the mouse script, where do we want to play these? Well we want to play them after we've added a unit to the currently selected unit. So I'm going to search for currently selected units add and as you can see we've added the um, units twice when we click and twice when we drag. Okay, So I'm going to do the click first. After we've um, added the units we can play the audio. And to do that we can refer to the audio object play one shot. This method just plays the, the sound effect once and then gets rid of it and we're going to get that audio clip from the units game object. So unit game object, get component, the unit script and get that variable, the selected audio variable. And we can also configure the volume scale. I'm going to put 0.7. Don't want it to be too loud. And it's as simple as that. We can play the audio clip by doing this. And also after we've added them using this with the shift key. Play audio. So the click is really simple. So if we go right down to the drag, the drag is a bit more complicated because we're selecting multiple units in the drag. So which sound effect do we play? Well, it's up to you guys, but I'm going to play the first the audio clip from the first unit we select. So to track this we need to make another counter because the eye counter is uh, reset when we go into the 3D mesh drag trigger tests and also if the unit um, is not if the unit's already in the currently selected units I will not be zero when the first game object's called. So to deal with this we can just say int j this time equals zero and every time there's a unit to be added we can put J++ in here and also in the 3D tests. And once we've added the unit, we can say if J equals 1, because by this time it would have incremented to 1 on the first game object, we can go ahead and do the same line of code. So audio, play one shot. Again, we're going to get unit object in this case, um, get component, the unit script, selected audio again 0.7 I think that's a nice volume okay guys and then we can also say play audio to let the uh, developer know we're playing the audio so we can also test if no units were selected using the 2D tests but one was selected here we can also say if J equals 1 play the audio clip so I think that's all we need to do I'm just gonna hop over and see if there's anything else we need oh by the way guys we can't have the put dragged units in current so units method to be static we need to get rid of the static so if I leave static in there I'm going to save this out we get a error an object reference is required to access non-static members so rather than make the members static and potentially future um, members objects static we can just get rid of the static keyword and make this just a public void doesn't need to be static and now we get no errors I think everything's going to work now Let's play the game. I'm going to see if everything's working. I don't think I forgot anything. So clicking, ready. the robot's ready. Dragging, ready. the robot said ready again. And let's check the solar farm. Click. That's good. Dragging using our trigger. Awesome. So all the clips are playing now. And I think I'll leave it there. So thanks for watching the video, guys. A really effective way to edit your clips and play the audio once you've selected your units. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video.